Hi, how y'all doing? It is Monday, the 26th of February, 2024. Uh, remember I told you I was going to look for a receipt about DJ Trump, right? That he had said that there's going to be a big celebration in the States. Well, I found the receipt and I told you I'd read it to you, so I'm going to read it to you. Hence, I'm wearing my glasses. Okay, this is an article from 2023 from a woman named Meredith McCraw. Trump's latest policy pitch, a massive birthday party for the nation. The former president is proposing a year-long bash to commemorate 250 years of independence. Donald D. Trump, I don't want to get flagged. I'm going to try and protect my video. Um, D.T latest idea to enshrine Americans' greatness is to throw a country to throw the country the most spectacular birthday bash, one that will last all year. In twenty twenty six, the US will elect will celebrate the semi quincentennial, the quarter millennial since its declaration of independence. To commem to commemorate the anniversary, Trump is proposing a blowout of twelve month long Salute to America's 250-year celebration. In a new pol policy video, Trump calls for a Great American State Fair, featuring pavilions from all 50 states nationwide, high school sporting contests, and the building of Trump's National Garden of the American Heroes. That will be interesting. With statues of important figures in America's history, like Frederick Douglass and Amelia Earhart. As a nation, as a nation, we should be preparing for the most spectacular birthday party. We want to make it the best of all time, he said in, I'm going to say he instead of his name, okay? He said, is in the new policy video previewed by Politico. A birthday celebration for all nations is a type of event that can describe a quincentennial Trump heavy on patriotic themes and state planning. It has been on his radar for a while in his first address to the joint sessions of Congress. Trump, he said, in nine years, the United States will celebrate the 250th anniversary of our founding. Founding. He didn't find it. It was already there. So 250 years since the day we declared our independence. He also created a 1776 commission while in the, in the big, you know, house to better enable a rising generation to understand the history and principles of the founding of the United States since 1776. That's when we got screwed over. The current incarnation of the idea he is proposing, the creation of a task force on day one of his presidency to work with state and local governments to ensure not just one day of celebration, but an entire year of festivities across the nation, starting on Memorial Day 2025 and continuing through July 4th, 2026. The biggest part of his year-long party plans is a massive fair, like a modern world's fair, right? Showcasing each state, Trump suggested that the event could be held at the Iowa State Fairgrounds, a conspicuous su suggestion that seems designed to appeal to voters in the first caucus state. I will work with all 50 gov governors, Republican and Democrats alike, to create a Great American State Fair, a unique one-year ex exhibition featuring pavilions from all 50 states. It'll be something. The Great American State Fair will showcase the glory of every state in the Union, promote pride in our country and our history, and forth innovative visions for America's future, Trump, he said in the video. My hope is that amazing people of Iowa will work with my administration to open up the legendary Iowa State Fairgrounds to host the Great American State Fair and welcome millions and millions of visitors from around the world to the heartland. For America, this is a special one-time festival. He said, together we will build it and they will come. What movie did that come from? 
right? Just how the country could fill 365 days of celebration is not entirely clear, though he suggests some ideas. He proposed Patriot Games for high school athletics athletes and called for a revival of his postponed, po, po, pros, proposed natural, National Garden of American Heroes, which was part of the executive order he signed before leaving the big house. He, garden, however, his garden for however, never received funding, and broke ground, or broke ground after the fake J B D E N scrapped plans for the beginning for it at the beginning of his term. But that means nothing, because he's gone. In seventeen seventy in nineteen seventy six. President Gerald Ford presided over the 200th anniversary of Americans' independence and year-long bicentennial celebration that featured an American freedom train that traveled through the continental U.S., nautical parade of tall ships, and U.S. bicentennial parade with special guests including the Lizard Queen. Lizzie, right? So, that gives you an idea of what it was like back in what did I say? 1976, when Ford presided over the 200th anniversary in the States of their Independence Day. So they had quite the fanfare then too, right? So it's going to be even more now. Trump, all, he <laughs> also proposed inviting dignitaries from all around the world to celebrate. Americans, tourist industry should get ready because we're going to have a lot of people coming. It'll be a year, a record year, he said in this video. So, yeah, he did that when he first got in. All right. So what do you think of that? It's a receipt. I told you they were going to have a World's Fair. Right? And just because uh, the fake guy got in doesn't mean nothing. Because this was all planned before. And an executive order isn't an executive order. It doesn't get overturned, right? So, yeah, looks like I'll be coming to the States in 2025. As long as I'm still here and I can move, I'll be coming down. I always wanted to go to the States. Arizona has always uh, appealed to me for some reason, right? And Mississippi. So, if you're in the United States and you're around Iowa, why don't you get boots on or boots on the ground, go drive through around, do some research, go around the state and see if you're seeing infrastructure being built for this fairground, the World's Fair, right? I'd be so interested. If you could do that, leave a comment in my video, tell me what you find out, right? Even better, make a video and show us, right? That would be so awesome. I know, I know it's happening. I do. I can feel it. It's what a seer is, right? We can see things through the veil that most people can't. And I just know stuff. I don't even have to do research half the time. I just ask my higher self, ask source, and I get an answer. Right? It's always the correct one. So, yeah. It's sunny here in Ontario, Canada. We got all these poofy, strange-looking clouds out there again. But, yeah, at least they're not doing the chemtrails. They did them yesterday, even though it was cloudy. They still, I could see them through the clouds, right? But they're the good ones. They're cleaning stuff up, right? See, my screen keeps on switching colors. I wonder why that is, all right? Strange. But, yeah. How y'all doing today? Are you having a good day? I am. Reading that receipt just made it better. So, yeah, get prepared. If you live in the States in that area, or I suppose it'll be, there's going to be a lot of people needing a place to stay for the weekend or the week, right? So consider that in your long-term goals for this year, maybe. If you have something, fix it up and get ready to rent out rooms, whatever, right? Because I'll be coming down. I will. I'll bring a tent if I have to. 
and sleep on the ground. But yeah. All right. That's my receipt. I love you all for consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. Bye.